Man, that sure is one happy planet. Look at that. What a luxurious setting. I mean, whoo! The fairies are all happy. This is a happy environment, and wait. This doesn't look right. What the heck? <laughs> look at them panic. They're like, take it, take it! Jeez, man, these things are creepy. For a Kirby game, those things are pretty creepy. Run, fairy! No! Welcome to Kirby 64! That is the beginning of this marvelous game. Boy, oh boy, I've been waiting a long time for this. As you can see, I I just played this game recently and 100% of it, as you can see here. I'm going to delete this file and start it brand new. Um, this is a very, very good game. I was unaware of this game for a long time. I only decided to play it the other day because I saw it at my friend's house, so I borrowed it from him. And when I played this game, I was surprised at how good it was. It really is. We're going to take the quick tutorial here to just show off uh, Kirby's abilities since we've never played a Kirby Let's Play before on my channel. And as you can see here, inhale and exhale, that is the main purpose of Kirby himself. He is the living trash can, can swallow anything he wants, eat anything, and he has no problem with it. Yes. And as you can see here, he can swallow up powers and become that power. So now he can become the fire ability. This, oh boy, I I chose this game for a specific reason. I just got done playing this game a couple days ago, and it's a fantastic game. It's very short, mind you, which is why I'm doing two Let's Plays at once. It's very short, it doesn't take that long to finish, but it is a good game, it's worthwhile playing. If you love Kirby, you should play this game. You should. It It, was, it is really a good game, like, you shouldn't deny it. As you can see here, you can combine the two, which is a very nice thing to do. I mean, you'll find a bunch of power-ups in this game are ridiculous. Like, they're the most ludicrous things you'll ever see. Especially this one, which is one of my favorites. I've never, I didn't see this until a couple days ago. And then I used it, and I was like, wow, what a fantastic ability. <laughs> As you can see there, you can use a C but stick or anything to hold up enemies. And to just hold them within your grasp, and that makes a drill. So that's what I'm saying. You get tons of power-ups in this game. There may only be like seven, just regular, like fire and rock and spike and ice and uh, some other stuff. But, oh, here we go. Here comes the story. <laughs> Kirby's like, hey, what knocked me? Oh, what? What knocked me on the head? He's just like, hey, you! I have something. I'm just like, oh, what does this do? Kirby decides to be nice and help out because he hears the fairy's plea. He's like, it's my duty. <laughs> Let's run. <laughs> the one thing I love about this game is how Kirby runs. I will show you. It's the funniest thing in the world because he's so fat. Obviously, he's so fat and cute. So he runs really funny. He kind of waddles. Look at that. And his face is like, I don't want to run. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like he's struggling to run. Ah, oh, so good. Good old Kirby. <clears throat> but uh, as I said, oops, I didn't mean to do that. But there you go. There's a tripping technique that they didn't tell you about. And it's just basically you're pressing down an A. Don't. What? Hey. You're not supposed to get rid of my ability. How dare you. And here we get one of my introduction to one of the better abilities, and that's combining cutter and fire, you get a fire sword! Somehow. <laughs> okay, I'll get rid of this for now, because I'm going to show off a lot of abilities. And as you saw in the tutorial, combining these two gives you flaming arrows! It's crazy stuff, man, crazy stuff. These guys don't give you anything, the regular enemies. But um, this game is, is great to play. I mean, it's definitely worth it. Uh, combining these two... You get this weird clamp thing. I don't recommend this ability. It's kind of bad. It's not that great. I honestly do not like it. <laughs> it just doesn't come in use. You get hit a lot, so don't even bother. And there's our first instance of collecting a shard. You'll be finding three of these in each level except for the boss fights. So the boss fights automatically give you one. The crystal shards are somewhat hard to find in this game. You will get used to easily finding out where they are. 
but trust me, they're not the easiest thing in the world to find, you know? That's, this game is, particularly it is kind of easy, it's not that hard, I mean, the world one definitely is basically the beginning point. You can find all of the crystal shards very easily without even much of a try, but the later worlds do get a little bit more harder, and they do get a little bit more hard to find, so you do want to take that into account. But uh, Kirby 64, it's just, oh boy. I mean, I was a big fan of Kirby with the, I think the first Kirby game I played was Kirby Superstar Ultra. Yes, I know, for the DS, right? Crazy stuff, yes. That was the first game I played, Kirby game, because I never owned one before. And that was the first one, and then since then I've just been loving Kirby. So, you know, I'm, I play this game now, and it's a damn, it's a great favorite of mine. How dare you, you stupid bomb! I hate the bomb guys, oh my god. <gasps> Fire and bomb together! Oh my god! Okay, wait. I know what I have to do. I want to combine these two. Get, get, get! Oh, you jerk! Stop that! <laughs> okay, I guess. Okay, I probably need a bomb for that, right? Yeah, it's black. This is a first instance of uh, crystals being hidden by power-ups that you need to break them. And as you can see there, it's black, so you do need a bomb, right? So go after him. Don't bomb! You jerk! Get over here! Oh, I killed him! Damn it! You'll find these a lot in the game. Some are more trickier than others. You wouldn't expect it to be that power up, but then you use it and you're like, "Oh, what the heck?" Yeah, it's it's strange, but you don't you won't get many instances of those. Die! Ah. Okay. Now here's a explanation of double bombs. You shoot missiles out of your mouth. Homing missiles, might I add, is dangerous. Oh, and here's our ally Waddle He's like, <gasps> "What does this do? So shiny." Oh wait, what? What is this? Hey! <gasps> I love this thing! And <gasps> oh, get away from me! <laughs> Poor Waddle Gets taken over a giant blob of black. Oh god, he turned into a... What are these things called again? I don't even remember. They give you that spark ability later in the, in the uh, cur later Kirby games, but... I do not remember this guy's name. I don't. He was also in that series, Kirby Right Back Asher, right? I think so. Give me that shard! Yay! <laughs> They're just like, yeah, buddy! This is a happy filled game, trust me. You like, you will like this game. <laughs> and Waddle Dee's just like, hey, wait up, you saved my life! I'm coming with you! Fat power! <laughs> they both run funny. Uh oh, that's so funny. Alright, now here we get the instance of collecting whatever items you can. I'm gonna try to go for that mystery card over there, and mystery cards- Don't! Oh, I cannot time to jump in. No, Carby, don't cry! Uh, I hate that. But, um, mystery cards, they display enemy info of enemies that you encounter in the game, obviously. So, yeah. <laughs> you, you, I'm not gonna get all of them, there's no sense, there's too many, so I'm not gonna even bother. I don't even know why you would, anyway. <laughs> it's honestly, I really don't care. They're enemy info, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, let's see what. Okay, this is my perhaps my favorite ability in the game. You become fireworks, living fireworks, and you destroy everything in your path. It is a powerful ability. Boom! <laughs> you can do it three times. It's a powerhouse ability. You want this thing. Anytime you get the chance to combine fire and bomb, do it. It is very useful. Ah! That's right, you don't hit me with bombs this time, I explode you with fireworks. Boom. <laughs> Here are these, these enemies are the most annoying in Kirby franchise, and I think all of you would know. Gordos, stupid Gordos. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this for now, let's see what I can combine with the electricity power-up. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Alright, let's combine it with spikes, let's see what we get. And we get... Oh right, the lightning rod, I completely forgot about this. Yes, this isn't that useful in there, it's kind of like the clamps, you don't want to use it. It's, I mean, you can get hurt very easily, so don't even bother with it. It is very good for enemies that are on top of you, but other than that, it just, there's really no sense. Ah. Ah, it, it, exactly my point. <laughs> That's why I'm going to probably throw it away after this. This LP probably won't take that long, it'll probably take about a week or two, and then Star Fox is going to be my main uh, Let's Play after this. 
Because, uh, you know, I, I really wanted to Let's Play this because it's a really fun game. And because I just did it recently, I can have somewhat of a memory where some of the Crystal Shards are. But obviously, the early portions of the game, I'm probably going to forget. So, excuse me if I make critical errors where I'm like, Oh, I need this power-up to get that Crystal Shard. Yeah, sorry. But it could happen. It could happen a lot. So, bear with me here. <laughs> no, Kirby, make it! Kirby, make it! Yes! Oh my god, that was good. Good. Good job, Kirby. Okay. What do I do here? Ah! Get- No! Oh my god, don't hit me! Good. Sandwich! Or was that a cake? I think that was a cake. Delicious cake. Alright. Here you get a maximum tomato. And there's a 1-up. Awesome. In this game, you get many 1-ups. So, don't worry about getting a game over too much. You won't be getting a lot of them. <laughs> it could happen. I mean, there are stages later in the game that do get hard. I don't blame you. But, you, uh, and honestly, you you won't be finding you'll get game overs too often, especially if you grind for lives, which you don't even think you'll be doing, but it happens. You just find, end up seeing it, and it's so, such an easy spot that you're like, oh, okay, I'll just grab it while I'm here. And there we get our second crystal shard. Oh, and we made our meet our next ally, a painter. <laughs> what a common peaceful painter. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> more shiny things! Awesome! This will be great for my art. <laughs> Damn that black blob! No! Man, an evil artist is not what we need right now. Uh, look at his face. So evil. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so evil. And this is what he does. He draws... Bunches of enemies, and you just have to eat them. That's it. It's a very easy boss fight, not hard at all. The only part it gets hard is when he starts flailing around, and I don't know what to do with that part. I never... I somehow always kill him randomly. I never know how to. I think this is his last of the drawings. Get, get... Oh, no, don't... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the heck is that? <laughs> that's like a terrible drawing. What? You call yourself an artist? What the heck? the hell was that last thing? It was like a blurry piece of crap. <laughs> now this guy, he just shoots out. You can't hurt him with your slide, so don't even bother. He shoots out these things. You could inhale them for ice power, but I just feel like throwing it at him right now. Get away from me! Yes, you're mine! Uh-huh. Okay. Need one more. There you go. And he's done. The artist isn't done there, though. He gets angry every time, and he creates something more monstrous. And this is, as you can tell, I mean, both Let's Plays were inspired. Uh, you, I gotta say, this, these both games that I'm doing right now, they have fantastic soundtracks. They are very well done. Uh, this has some of my most favorite Kirby tunes in them all. So that's why I really wanted to do it, because of the music as well. It's just so good. And that's why, you know, during my Mario RPG, I chose those two games for a reason. Just a hint, hint, that's my next Let's Play. This is the part I don't know what to do. What the hell? Like, uh, does he throw something or what? Like, okay, get away from me! Ah! Ah, stop flailing your arms like Luigi! What? Uh, what? How did I? How did that happen? What? He was flailing his arms like Luigi in one second. Then I just jump on him. I jump on his head. I guess I'm, it's, revert, it's reverting to Mario logic. Like. I just jumped on his head, and he died. What? Okay. <laughs> that was like the old style version of props now. Oh my god. Kirby and Wild, they have good <laughs> good handshakes. And everyone's running now. Kirby's like, wait up, I'm too slow! <laughs> okay, right there. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I got it this time, awesome. I'll show you what, what it exactly shows, that's why. You, do, you probably don't want to be going after these things. <laughs> I like Kirby's voice in this game. Reminds me a lot of the show Kirby right back at ya. <laughs> I know, it has the exact same voice. He's like, hi. So, so cute. That's how Kirby's known for, his cuteness and his fatness. <laughs> Ow! Oh, damn you. And his ability to create power-ups out of nowhere. <clears throat> Die! Oh, fires! Oh my god, fires! Ah, uh, my- No, why did I throw it away? Shoot! Okay, whatever. Uh, we get double fire, and this is what it does. Boom! <laughs> you 
It's a massive streak of fire. It's a great ability, but can it, it can also be a downfall because when you want, if you're doing it too close to the ground and say if it's a fire level, it can be very dangerous. <laughs> So what you want to do here, get two cutters, and it, he throws a giant portion of his face. Yeah, pretty painful, I know. But it, and it turns into spikes, too. It's pretty... Whew, could be... Could be risks everything for these guys, man. He's throwing portions of his face. Good lord. But, um... You want to get this two-cutter ability and hold on to it. Do not get rid of it. You want to hold on to it, because... It's, again, one of those crystal shards that you need a power-up to get to. <coughs> Ah, good. Come back portion. Oh well. <laughs> ah, let's cut this down. I can. I can take it out with my slide. Oh well. <clears throat> ah, stupid Gordos. I really hate these enemies because you can't do anything to them. They're invincible. If you hit them with something, it just goes flying off of them. Like, there's no no sense of even trying. Hey, maximum tomato, what do you know? Yeah, there's like no sense of even trying to do anything. Just dodge them as much as possible. The best thing to use for them is the stone ability. Get out of my way, Cutter. <clears throat> is the stone ability because they it kind of just like plinks off of them and it doesn't really do any damage to you. But the stone ability in here isn't that useful in terms of, like, not wanting to take damage. Because what happens is if you run into a Gordo with a stone, he just breaks apart and then the Gordo hits you anyway. So it's, it sucks. But the rock ability is... I love it in this game. I don't like it so much in later Kirby games. But I really like it in this game. <clears throat> and that's what you have to do. You have to have double cutter ability. You cannot have a single cutter in order to cut that down. So, yeah. <clears throat> And then this is what the artist does, he draws the pictures for you, or he gives you hints. And we'll be getting that into that later once we progress through this game. Here's another crystal shard right up here. That's the second one. Thank you, Mrs. Fetty. <clears throat> ah, spike guy, get out of here. I don't want no spikes. I do not like spikes in this game. They're not that great. It's kind of slow, so I don't like it. This, I mean, yes it is a gear, you would think it would be spikes, but nope, it's a cutter. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. <clears throat> Ooh, another cutter guy. Get out of here. Because I'm going to combine this with, again, uh, with the fire. Because I just love that technique. The sword technique so damn useful. It really is. <clears throat> because a good thing with it is, you know, you can, uh, you can toss the sword. Oh, wait, I better get it back in my mouth. Get it. <laughs> the good thing with the fire sword is you can hold it up, right? Like this, you can just take it, and the fire sword itself hurts people without even you trying, so it's pretty useful. And you can toss it at people too, so it's good. Here we get an instance of our next comrade, and it is DDD himself, the other fat man. <clears throat> but no one can compare to the fatness of Wario. He's just like, no, it's mine! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Oh, what? <laughs> the return of the fake laugh has become and DDD gets engulfed and Kirby's like oh, no <laughs> I just wanted a shard this boss fight isn't that hard especially if you have the fire sword this is very easy uh, oh get away from me oh god damn it stop using your fat see that's what I'm saying see how that sword I just kind of left it out there and it damaged him that's why it's good that's why it's good give me very useful I need it and no, I don't want to- Ow! Oh, okay, whatever. Ah! <laughs> Dead. You fool. You dare mess with the technique of sword fire. Well, it doesn't work. <clears throat> I'm just like, yay, we got our next one, let's go. How are all these, like, coming with? He's just like, no! 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 Uh, yes! <laughs> Fine, I will come. And there you see DDD eating in the background. So that is everyone. That is all your comrades that you get on this adventure. And I missed the Maxim Tomato. Damn it. And we get our instance of the first boss in this game. So as you can see, we have the shards in every world, or every level. And now we go to the boss. And as you can tell, it is Wispy Woods once again. As for some reason, he could just never learn 
to be in peace and stop spitting out the apples. Because it just hurts Kirby. <coughs> oh! It, no, I don't want to die on this boss. I have a feeling I might because I have, I don't know. With this boss, for some reason, I, it's so easy, but yet I fail. And, okay, I believe he's going to appear right over there. Is he? Where is... I know there are points to hit, so where is that going to come? It's right there. I didn't see it. Damn! Oh, well. There goes my first death. <laughs> and I died on Wispy Woods. Amazing. Okay, get the apple. Thank you. Generally, you shouldn't be taking any damage in this fight. <laughs> it's not that... Oh, stop blowing wind! Thank you, you get... I hit you in your back. I'm, I'm sorry if that's cowardly, but I must do it. Ah! <clears throat> this boss is easy, very easy not to take any damage. I don't know why you would. It's kind of stupid if you do, just like I did there. Like, I don't even know what I was trying to do there. I thought... You see, what I thought was that the... His points, he, he sprouts up like uh, these tree roots, right? And <clears throat> you're supposed to hit them. And I thought, okay, they're going to come and they're not going to be that big of an issue. They're not going to hit me. And it came straight for me. I was kind of stupid. What you want to do here with that, to quickly finish up this boss, try to gather two apples or have the flaming sword technique and just fire the sword. And it could hit both of them at the same time and I totally missed the apple. Damn it! Get Take my sliding technique! No! Wispy! Okay. Get. There we go. Uh, I want to swallow too. Oh, whatever. No! Oh, what the? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Either I'm not focused right now or I'm just being plain stupid. I have no idea. Let's do this. He's almost down. I can feel it. Well, actually, I don't have to feel it. His health bar is right down there. <laughs> this is not Mario RPG. Okay. Oh, yes! Okay, don't take damage. Good. We need just about two more hits, I think. <coughs> yep, we definitely need one more. Damn. Only if I had grabbed another apple. Apple! Alright. Ta. Ah. And there you go! Wispy Woods makes that face. <laughs> uh, he's so... He never does anything harmful to anyone, yet he gets hurt every time. It sucks. It sucks. But he always has what Kirby wants, so... He has to destroy the trees. Sorry. We're not thinking of uh, saving paper here, you know. <clears throat> you get a first instance of a cutscene. Everyone's just like, yes, let's, let's jump in. That's what you do. Crystal shards take you to every new world. So now we have unlocked the second world, which is Rockstar. So we have finished Popstar for today, and that is going to be all for this episode. Generally, how I'm going to do things is do probably like half a world, and I know that sounds weird because there's five levels in each world. Just Popstar and um, <clears throat> and the last world have four worlds, four levels, but the rest have five in each one. So I'll probably do like the first three stages and leave the last two for another video. That's how I'll generally do things in this. And this is what the mystery cards do, they provide you enemy enemy info, which isn't much, they just show you a picture and the name, as this one is called Pedo, which is, yes, short for Torpedo, if you couldn't tell. And here you have some mini games. I will be doing this later and trying to beat them on Intense, so who knows how I'll do in that. Because <laughs> I, for one, am very bad at that game where you have to try to sync the other computers, I'm so bad at it. And here you get the theater, where whichever cutscene you unlock gets played here, and you can see it any time. So for now, guys, this has been a great episode, and we'll continue Rockstar in our next episode. So until next time, this is Mario Central.